Hey, Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So today, um, I went out with my wife and spent some time just having, hanging out, having a good time. We decided to stop at the store called Tuesday Mornings. It's really a cool store. I've gotten some uh, figures from the, the, there before. And I saw this display and I thought, you know what? This could really be cool. And it was only $14.99. I thought, you can't go wrong with that. So let's go ahead and open it up and find out what's inside the box. So let's figure this out. Here's some tape here to cut. It does come with an exclusive figure. Let me show you what that is. There's the figure. So kind of cool. And here's the back of the box. So you can kind of get a look at it. Anyway, let's open this thing up and see what's, what's inside. And see how hard it is to build. All right. So there is the huge display. Looks like there's a, a large base for it. So we'll use that base and take a look at it. And here is the center parts all taped shut. Let me go ahead and take off this tape here. Or actually, it just pops open. Here's that exclusive figure. Kind of cool. And the surprise in this is actually a little heavier than I thought it would be. So here's some parts inside to build that top ridge portion. And let's go ahead and put this thing together. Now looking at this, I can see all these little pegs and I'm guessing those are foot pegs for the figures. So basically it's like some sort of stand and there's a ton of pegs in here too just to place all your figures. I was kind of hoping it'd be more of a, just a snow background, but that's okay. This is still really cool. So there it is. You can see how huge it is. Pretty good size. Let's see how hard it is to build this display. Has some cool little barrels. Looks like it has some uh, floorboards or roof boards. Looks like they're roof. And again, it's got pegs for people to stand on. So let's move the barrels first. You know what? I bet you this probably comes with directions. Nope, it doesn't. So let's take a look at this picture. Actually, you know what? Looking at the picture, I think that it actually is the floorboards are just lined up so you can't quite tell, so. Let's just slide those on in there. And I got a whole bunch of these braces here. Maybe I should have looked for the directions first. But anyway, it's pretty cool looking. Seems like it would be a great snow backdrop for some things. I'll go and build this later. And I'll update a picture later on. But for right now, let's see how it looks with some of our other figures. So let's go ahead and adjust some lighting to give it some cool snow effect. There we go. And let's go ahead and take our uh, Ice Armor He-Man. That looks pretty cool. Let's see how it looks with the five and a half custom that I made. That's a nice effect and it actually matches his ice armor pretty well. That's pretty cool. And then of course with my classics version I made. And it still has some height above it, so that's kind of cool. So it's also like a nice display piece for showing those. I should have brought Frosta in. I meant to grab her, but I didn't. But you get the idea. It's so cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try to build this on video. If you wanna watch, you can. Uh, it's gonna be probably kinda long for me to figure it out. 
Um, but for those that don't want to keep watching, either fast forward to the end, or you can just go ahead and uh, turn off the video now. It's up to you guys, but I'm going to be quiet while I try to build this, and then uh, we'll see how it looks once it's all built. Feel free to uh, post comments if you guys are curious about stuff. Probably can't read the comments when I'm trying to build this. We'll figure this out quick. side done Let's slide this piece in there this should lock it in Urgh. there we go Hey, look at that. Got it all built. Cool, cool. And it's got some barrels. Let's go and put those in there. And let's go ahead and take the exclusive figure and stick him in there and see how he looks. Just not want to stay on there with his holes in his heels. There we go. Ta da! All right. Well, for those that actually hung on the whole entire time and watched me try to build this thing, thanks for tuning in. Um, let's see how the five and a quarter or five and a half inch man figure fits in here. That's still pretty cool. And the peg holes do work for the other figures. So you can still use your peg hole here and hold them in place. Let's try the peg hole on this guy and see how it works while I'm here. A little tight for the classics, but it does work. So that's pretty cool too. I guess the peg holes will work on the, 
newer figures, the 2000X and the classics. So I guess it will work for those. All right. Too bad I didn't bring Frosta in, but maybe in some of my pictures on my Facebook page, I'll have her on there. So thanks for watching, you guys. Um, again, uh, I think it was called Tuesday Mornings, the name of the store I got this from. And like I said, they sell a bunch of cool stuff. I've gotten, a, I picked up a lot of, uh, a lot of those uh, Mega Constructs He-Man figures from there too. All right. Oh, yep. Thanks, Ricky. Yep, I like the reusable peg holes too. It works out great for that. I'm surprised they actually work. Usually most things don't seem to work out very well, but this time it worked out great. And you can throw barrels at people. Ah. Uh. Uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to share them and continue to subscribe. And I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.